guys, what's going on YouTube? John and Chris here. We're coming back at y'all with another vid. And we're here at a sneaker shop here in Cincinnati with my guy, uh, Heart and Soul Cincinnati. And now you have a new shop here in the, it's called the Sidewalk, right? Yeah. Grand opening's tomorrow. Congrats, Congrats by the way. Congrats. Congrats. Thank you, brother. Yeah. So if you guys didn't know, you actually made some news uh, recently. Not really good news, but uh, it was the situation, what happened. Uh, if anyone knew, you're the one that had the storage unit got robbed in your, in your spot. Like, how many pairs got taken? It was over 400 pairs of shoes. So, roughly like a, a lot, right? 100 bands. <sighs> Man, and that's crazy. And then uh, obviously now look at you now, kind of this is your comeback, I feel like, you know? Like that's such a great story how uh, a bad situation happened. You also see you hustled and now you got your own store now. No more selling storage unit and you got something crazy here, man. This is awesome. First off, I really just gotta shout out my boy, uh, Nick. He, um, he's been like a, a ride or die type of, okay. type of friend. Yeah, and for sure. um, we, um, we, we started working together, you know, honestly back on the Carmine drop in like February of, of 2021. We, um, we did business together and he actually is the, the owner of Sidewalk okay and he really um, created the space and then just you know gave me a platform obviously you know my situation I, I really you know didn't have the funds to to like open my own store after the situation right. um, but was able to build up my, my inventory back up to about 300 pairs of shoes oh yeah that's that's a good inventory you lost 300 now you gained yeah so I'm, I'm basically back to, to where I was Square before one, I got right? robbed um, but still you know the the, the capital wasn't there like it used to be. Right. And um, for the opportunity presented itself to partner up with Sidewalk and um, we made it happen over the past few months, really just been working hard on, on getting the space ready. And, yeah, it's, um, a, it's one of the nice shop, man. You did, you did your thing, man. You got a little wall action here, got some clothing and, and all that. So definitely got some heat. Is, uh, is a lot of this kind of like mixed in between uh, your man's shoes and your inventory too? Or yeah, so so me and Nick both handle the, the sneaker side, so um, okay. we have all our pairs on the wall. And then uh, we're also collab with Jet Black Vintage, and he's the one who curates all the vintage. So we got, you know, the hats, the tees. I mean, these tees up here on the wall, the, the Bone Thugs and DMX are literally like $2,000 vintage tees. Holy crap, really? So like, this is, this is not just a, a sneaker store. Like, this is a... Uh, a one-stop type of you know place where you can come in and like take care of all your right you get your, your drip needs. clothes your drip you get yeah. your sneakers of course uh just tell us what else you plan on else doing for your uh, shop here man for cincinnati being in cincinnati as well you know yeah um i mean nick's vision is really just to provide a place for for different you know curators and you know entrepreneurs like myself to um, to have a space and you know really be able to you know make make the most of their opportunity um, other entrepreneurs so well appreciate you inviting me to come through guys uh, they have a grand opening tomorrow uh, but if you are in the Cincinnati area it's also like about an hour and a half away from Kentucky my area that's why I decided to come through so yeah that definitely make sure you guys pop in it's in the downtown Cincinnati yeah. area type of OTR thing. yeah something like that. I don't, I'm not really from around here but still <laughs> But I appreciate you, bro. Thank bro, you. Might do some sneaker know. shoppings, man. And Absolutely. We'll talk about some heat stuff and all that. Let's see, we got some dunks here. We got some AJ ones here. Obviously, with the market kind of going crazy right now, we think it's probably your best, your best seller. The main thing you focus on. Black, black. Honestly, it's everybody. Is it's hard to beat this. This is like the new Air Force One, to right. be honest with you. But they're gonna restock by tomorrow. <laughs> They'll restock the next again, month. But guess what? People are still gonna yes, buy them. Yes, they will. So, people go crazy from. And we're gonna keep having them. Speaking of, we have. Uh, would, freaking, you, would you look at Would here? you look at that? <laughs> hey, like I said, it's just simple wear, man. It's easy to put on, and you know, mine's still kind of fresh. So, <laughs> man, dunks are dun dunks are definitely gonna be one of the one of the biggest movers. Um, fours, fours is the new wave. They, I was they, calling. They man. love the fours. Got a little little Raptor, little Raptor. All right, man. This is crazy. So the Air Jordan. Four Raptor joints. You know what's funny? I had the Drake ones. Is this the Drake one? No, it's not. You know what I'm talking about? These had like yeah. the Drake signature. Yeah. And when the Raptors won the championship, I think these things skyrocketed up for like an hour once they won. Yeah. And then they went right back down. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, they went up to like 400 and then I woke up back to 200. <laughs> I was like, damn, I should have sold it right yeah. when the, the yeah. champions ha happened. But still, yeah, I agree. Fours. Lots of, lots of fours. Um, fours. Yeah. Way. Military black has been like one of the staples right you know, now. Yeah, infrared has been moving pretty good. But how you say about the market lately, man? How, how you feel about that? Even though you, you're now open a shop, we're kind of going through like somewhat of a um, 
recession type of vibe. Sneaker market recession. Sneaker market, but people still buying though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the strange thing. I, I know like a lot of people that sell through like online platforms are like honestly kind of out of the game right now, but for us people with shops and the clientele that we have, like people, people still want to buy. Yeah, exactly. You know, I mean, I think what's going on right now is kind of like a correction to where like back in 2022, there was a lot newer like resellers and new sneaker heads and yep. stuff like that. So just people just got into the game. I think they're gonna get out. The people just kind of started, you know, cause you know, I've been, I've been in uh, sneakers since like, since I was a kid and then, like doing this YouTube for a long time. I'm sure you've been in the game for a minute now, yeah. definitely. So I just feel like we're gonna, those gonna get pushed out, and then only like kind of like the, like the only the I hate to say strong it like the survive. strong survive. I hate to say it like that, but it's kind of like that where like only like the people are gonna be able to really do it, yeah. you know, do it and just kind of push everyone out, you know. What's what's crazy though is I, I feel like I have five or six guys who like exclusively sell to me, mm. and like mm. yeah, they they may not get you know 50 pairs on release, but they get five to ten pairs and they'll bring them straight to me. They still out. make their money, a little so hustle. Like, yeah. It's like I'm super grateful for all the people that, you know, not just shop with me but sell to me. Cause I mean right. that's that's how we keep it moving. Obviously I'm able to get some pairs for retail, but a lot of times like I'm cashing out I'm out cashing out, putting a little money in, you know, people's pocket too. So So let's talk about that real quick, like how you're gonna be doing running the shop, are you gonna be doing a lot of buying, cashing out, yeah. trades? Is that how you're gonna be doing it? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do some trades, we'll do some cash outs as well. Like in store credit type of thing. Yeah. You know, um, type of... I would say mostly we're, we're looking at all dead stock shoes here, um, but there'll be the occasional, you know, some pair. If it's, if it's, you know, like a banger, like. Right, of course. Maybe some Travis's or something. Yeah, you know, we'll come out. Um, I think a good example of a banger that's used, you know, we'll, we'll have like a, like a Sakai. Really? These joints? This, this, these are my personals. Okay. Wore them to the, uh, the Cincy Sneaker Ball last year, so uh, I wore them like it. two or three times. I just felt these things a little too bulky for me. I have a pair. I have the black ones, but a little, it's just like that double sole type of vibe. It made me but, taller, so. <laughs> I know me hey. and you both can use yeah, a little help Yeah, we can use a little help. So. Yeah, we can use a little bit. And obviously, I already see you did have slides, obviously. Yeah, you had slides. Had slides. Slides, phone runners still move like crazy. Man, these joints, I can't believe. Twos, how you feel about the two wave, man? I'm, I'm with it. I'm with it. Especially the collabs. I mean, the Union, the Union twos, twos are nice. absolutely amazing. I wore them last Almond night. Moniers. Moniers. Even these joints. I, I forgot how to say Mon. Ma Mason, Mason, Mason Chateau Rouge. Mason Ma Chateau Rouge. 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 French. Voulez-vous Voulez Voulez coucher vous soir? That's what. Maison. But the quality of these things is, is nice, man. The merch on these things was actually fire too, as well. But this is a great looking shoe. If you do you have a size nine in these? If I did, they would be living with. I would I would probably be been going home with these, man. This is one I, I kind of need. Um, I'm even during this this time, you know, I also been kind of cutting back on buying a lot too. Like what size you have in these? My thirteen. That's it. Thirteen. You got a lot of thirteens, man. 13 is honestly one of my best sizes. Is it really? Yeah. 13, yeah, yeah. You know, big size is now the new money size. You have the Travis Gold joints. I need the brown ones. I don't have the brown ones uh, anymore. Um, is this the new wave? This is the new wave. Oh <laughs> this is the new wave. The 2002R protection pack. Got more launching this year. I'm a big fan. I have, uh, I have the white pair myself, and I, I sold these two, and I regret it, to be honest with you. I don't know. A lot of people talk about New Balance, man. I know. I don't know if I can get jiggy with it. Have I, you I've worn them? I've never, bro. And I'm not trying to be a hater. You know. The most comfortable shoes I own. I hear. I hear. I've been. I was in New York City last month, and I, I saw mad people wearing New Balance. I, and I talked to Shea TV. Kip she, collab. She was trying to, you know, get me involved in these New Balances and all that. I was kind of like, alright. Well, well, you know, I guess, you know. All right. So these also off white sales. How much for these three joints? 700. Seven. So, also, guys, if you want, they, you guys, are you guys very selective how you do consigning or how you guys do consigning? Yeah, I mean, it, it obviously has to be something that's yeah. worth consigning, right? Yeah, a heater. But, right. Um, but if someone walks in here with like 100 pairs of like mids or something, <laughs> or something yeah. like that, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> we, don't, we don't want the mids. All right, so like maybe like some Travis some off whites, you know, just some maybe even easy movers that you know that you can just keep on moving, you might just need in store, right? Just, yeah. How you guys do consigning though, like 10%? Or? Basically, they bring it in, we establish like a price point. So this is what, you know, customer is okay, you know, getting on this shoe. Mm -hmm. And then we kind of work the margins from there. And 
you know, once they agree to that price, that's what they get paid out of soon. So okay. whether right. whether we sell it for you know exactly what they paid or exactly what they want or more. What's the market? How you guys do about pricing on stuff? Like say obviously it's a store, so they guys they do have you gotta understand, they do have overhead rent yes. Yes. and so most forth. Definitely. So and most of your stuff I'm sure you don't get for retail. No. No, no. right, yeah. It's it's not that easy. I would say, I mean we're we're fair. Oh yeah, like, that's of course. that's my my best word I can use. Like we're just fair. You know, we're gonna um, we're gonna try to get people in and out. You know, in something that basically kind of like StockX la landing price almost. Yeah, 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 like StockX. You know, after tax and fees, some somewhere around there. Um, okay. Give I mean, take, that's kind of give or take 40, 50 bucks. You know. Right, right. Depending on what it is or so and so. Forth. These are one of the shoes that could possibly you think could possibly go up too. It's got to. Such a clean pair. I mean, every suede, I feel like every suede dunk. Every dunk or, suede, yeah, you're right. Every dunk suede. I don't even have this one in my collection, to be honest. Oh, size nine, my size. Might have been this. Let's see if we can work with me on this. These, yes, sir. We have almost, what do you think about the Air Jordan 1? Kind of like, like, you know, obviously Air Jordan 1's, I feel like, been kind of, um, been a little bit, right? Yeah. Yeah, Falling off. yeah Falling I, a little bit, right, Chris? Uh huh. I mean, you know, if, Something like this came out like in 2020, been like a $300 shoe or something. I mean, you still got your height ones, you got your Alma Meniere's, uh, nothing probably recently. I, I, I think the Mocha ones, like, good Lord, these are probably one of the better non-OG colorway, non-collab Air Jordans, Honestly. Air Jordans? Yeah, I agree. I mean, what would be better? Non-OG, non-collab. The Obsidians? You think the Obsidians are better than these? No. No, but I do love this. I do love this. I love them too. I, I like them too. Core purples. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said TikTok joints. <laughs> even though, like, even though Jordan ones have taken a dip, the low something like this. Starfish. I I don't see these going anywhere. Like I like even like even these joints, man. I really like these. If you guys had the blue joints, I would have grabbed them too. But these here, this is these are another go. The the peach corals, man. I'm a big fan of both of them. Yeah, so am I. And I like the, these have a little, like I said, a little bit of cracked leather right there. But I like the suede, suede. like the material, like the colorway. Extra laces. Mm -hmm. And this is like the same colorway as like almost as the rusted pink that are going for like $20,000 yeah. or something crazy. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. Probably. Okay. That's my price. Let's grab, yeah. let's grab, let's do that. I can do that. Yeah. This, this. this. It's all fair. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So I'll grab both of these joints here. These are, we have almond Meniere's and of course the Peach Corals, which I personally think these could do some crazy numbers. But um, here from the sidewalk, we got also, we gotta give a shout out to my man here, Nick, man. So you are the actual are we rolling? Huh? Are we rolling? Yeah, we're rolling right <laughs> now. <laughs> you are the man right here. This is your complex this moment. This is your moment. Uh, so guys, again, we're gonna grab the uh, Peach, Bleach Corals, <laughs> size nine and a half. And also the almond Meniere's. Obviously they went down, but I still think the potential could do some decent numbers. It has to. It's, yeah. Honestly, I I can't tell you a Jordan one personally that I like better than, than these right yeah. now. Just and of course the these things too. These to me is no brainers. These are just no brainers. If you had the blue joints, I would have got these two as well. But um, anyways, man, we got a shout out to my man here, Nick. Man, this is the actual owner of the sidewalk here. Uh, What's up? What's up? Yeah, actually Vietnamese too as well. We're yeah. both Vietnamese. Yeah, yeah. Doi, oi, don't mind. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Doi, oi. Yeah. But uh, where, show where they can follow you on your IG and all that for um, So you can follow us at From the Sidewalk on Instagram and From the Sidewalk Podcast too if you're down to that. Oh, you got a podcast too? Yep. You guys gotta, you gotta invite me on the podcast sometime. I will. All right, you man. See, you see the setup over there? I see it. Yeah, definitely. All right. But yeah, go ahead and let me. Um, She the brought the bleach corals and she grabbed these joints. It says bleach coral in the box. Can I see it? That's the, oh, stop. That's the girls, bro. No, girl. stop. No, we gotta get this one. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> this one, can you please? I'm confused. It's in the Jordan 1 box, not a regular box. Yes. Yes. Well, how much are you letting these go for? I'm not. You're not? <laughs> Throw the shot, man. This is for the shop. You gotta get the Epic. Grinches too and the Mamacitas. Where they at? It's for B. It's yeah. for B. This is a nice looking shoe too, man. And that Laker colorway too. Sheesh. This is nice. All right, bros. 
Appreciate you. Thank you, guys. Make sure you guys check out From the Sidewalk. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Let me spend some bread up here, put some money in the shop. Appreciate you. That'll be good. Come check us out. 1212 Main Street, Cincinnati, Ohio. Bye. That was nice. All right. That's cool. Nick's so funny.